Hey everyone, how you doing? Good morning. So Michael here on my early morning grind, you know, working hard to make a better life for myself. I, yeah, things are getting excellent. I had a great day yesterday. It could have been better. I, on a scale of one to, ta one to 10, I would rate yesterday seven out of 10. It could have been a 10 out of 10, but I just didn't push myself enough. Today's definitely going to be 10 out of 10. But I saw something on Twitter. I saw a Sonny Edwards interview. I watched some of it. I can't be bothered watching the whole video. But Sonny Edwards has definitely left fish eyes. What did I say? What did I say? He's left fish eyes. The time has come. Fish eyes is done. Fighters are leaving this guy like flies. Who's he got left? Yard, Dubois. Joe Joyce is not his. But then the thing about boxing is boxing is about making money. And as soon as these guys get better offers, they're going to leave him like a flash. So I'll do more videos later. Got things to do. Obviously got to head to work. But Fish, Fish Eyes is done. Honestly, this is hilarious. The same Sonny Edwards. He used to say, thank you, Uncle Frank. Thank you, Uncle. He's left, you know. This is hilarious. Because obviously me and Fish Eyes have got... We have had our problems going back years. And you know what? I, I, I want nothing to do with Fish Eyes. If he offered me a job... Well, and you know, and this is the funny thing, what a lot of people don't know. Box Nation actually offered me a job in 2012, for those of you who don't know. Like, people in boxing know, Ed Robinson, Ben Doughty, Spencer Fearon, ask these guys. But they offered me that job. Well, I, what they said to me was, they kept calling me and texting my phone. What, what it was, I was insulting fish eyes on camera, saying personal stuff about his family. So then they tried to contact me. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, come down to Box Nation, we have an opportunity for you. But I'm not stupid, because if I go there, obviously you're going to give me a job, cool, but you're not going to pay me, it's not, not, not a multi-million pound position, is it? And you're going to tell me what I can and can't say. You're going to try and control me, get me to shut up and get me to stop talking about them on social media and stuff like that. So I turned the opportunity down. So that's for those of you who don't know. And if you don't believe me, as I said, ask Ben Doughty, ask Spencer Fearon, ask Ed Robinson, ask who else knows. Ask Ingram Jones, obviously, he's going back to 2012, but I'm not lying. So, me and him have got our, we've had our problems, me and Mr. Fish Eyes. But if he offered me a job now, I say, no, I'm not taking it. If Matchroom offered me a job, I'll do that. You know, Eddie Hearn's pound for pound, the best promoter in the world. It would be a pleasure to work with Eddie Hearn. And technically, I, I already work with Eddie Hearn. I've interviewed him, I've done stuff at the press conferences. Obviously, I've got a small channel, I know that, but my channel is going to get bigger. Imagine imagine if I can get someone like Derek Chisora to spar me. Just just trying to wait for that golden opportunity. But look, Fish Eyes is on his way out of boxing, and we need, we need a new boxing promoter. So you know what, I'm going to take out... A, I'm being deadly serious, I'm going to take out a promoter's licence. But the only thing stopping me, because there's this professional boxer called Jack Hughes, who was saying, oh yeah, why don't you do it? Yeah, I said, because I haven't got 10 grand. To, to take out a promoter's license, you need, you need to lodge 10 grand with the British Boxing Board of Control. I haven't got 10 grand. But if I get a promoter's license, I get on well with Goodwin, I get on with Eddie Hearn. So I'd only do it if people in boxing like them are willing to work with me. And I'd say, look, let me just work my way up, become an apprentice, like that Alan Sugar show. And, and just because there's nobody in boxing that's a better talker than me, I can guarantee you that. I'd put myself in the same level as Eddie Hearn and David Hay. But I'd say I'm probably better because I talk more about real life and I don't lie. Like, obviously, I know you've got to promote and hype fighters up, but I won't lie about things, you know. So I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm a better talker than them guys. So I'd say, look, let me just sit on the top table and talk and show what I can do show that I can give fighters good advice I can tell fighters how to get your name out there you know you've got to fight good fights fight tough fights and that's how you build your profile you build your brand you know uh, but I've said enough for now but I'm just glad Fish Eyes is doing bad and he's millions of pounds in debt I'm going to spend all day laughing about this because I, I laughed myself to sleep so I, I, I hope he disappears from box I don't like him I don't like him I don't like his son and I don't like his other son either Francis or George and they don't like me as well which is okay because I don't like you and I definitely don't like Coogan Cassius and I'm definitely gonna like you watch it I'm gonna come after all these people 
but I just need to keep winning my fights. But Coogan's definitely on my hit list of people I want to knock out. I want Francis as well. I want George as well. Who else? Who else am I after in boxing? I want Ty and Booth. But obviously, Ty is going to be the biggest challenge. Like, I'll do it. I'll be willing to take him on in June. The other guys I've mentioned, those guys are easy. But Ty and Booth's going to be a challenge. So take care, everyone. Talk to you soon.